Hi, I'm Kelly Young with American Rifleman, and this week's Gun of the Week is, in my opinion, one of the more underrated firearms on the market today, the Beretta CX-4 Storm Pistol Caliber Carbine. This gun makes use of a lot of polymer in its construction, and as a result, the CX-4 is exceptionally light and compact. Even with a 16.5 inch barrel, the gun still measures less than 32 inches long and weighs only about 5.5 pounds. Uh, and much of the weight of the gun is situated in the back in the buttstock here, uh, so it actually feels even less substantial than that when it's shouldered. Uh, there are actually three different configurations of CX-4s, uh, and they really only differ in which Beretta handgun models they share magazines with. Uh, the first feeds from Beretta's 90 series of handguns, meaning your, your 92s and your 96s. The second feeds from the 8000 series magazines, which although no longer being produced by Beretta, is still made by its Turkish subsidiary Stoger. Uh, and this one here is an example of the third variant, uh, which takes Beretta's PX4 line of handgun magazines. The CX4s are available in 9mm Luger, 40 Smith & Wesson, and 45 ACP, and this one here is a 40. Uh, now because they fire handgun cartridges, the CX4 is able to use a simple blowback operating system in order to function. Uh, and really the controls are situated in such a way that you can think of this gun as just a really big handgun. Uh, the magazines are fed into the gun via the pistol grip. The magazine release is located right where you might expect to find it to be actuated by the shooter's thumb. Uh, and a slide lock is found just above the shooting hand on the left side of the receiver. Uh, one control that is a bit different from what you might expect from a handgun uh, is the cross bolt safety, which is found right here just above the trigger. Uh, as a lefty, one of the things I particularly like about the CX-4 is how southpaw friendly it is. Uh, this is my personal gun, and as you can see, I have it set up for left-handed use. Uh, the magazine release and safety are both reversible, and the reciprocating charging handle can be installed to either side of the gun, or you can do what I have done, which is just to mount a second one on there and make it bilateral. Uh, the gun can be reconfigured to eject from either side, and the process of switching back and forth is really simple. It's just a matter of disassembling the gun and then switching the sides of the bolt carrier that the ejector and the instructor are on. The CX-4 has a dual aperture rear sight and an adjustable front sight, both of which can be folded down out of the way if you want to keep your line of sight clear. Uh, between the sights, you've got about 8 inches of pick rail for the installation of an optic, a plus a small section is hidden under the barrel uh, for a light or a laser, Plus, there are also provisions for additional rails on both sides of the forehand. Uh, while certainly a fun range gun, the handiness of the CX-4 also makes it a decent home defense option, particularly for smaller shooters who struggle with larger and heavier rifles. For more information on the Breda CX-4 Storm, visit Breda.com.